Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Tuesday, 9th of July 2024, and today's topic is not redeem or deliver. Praise to Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father King of Glory, we thank you, we bless you. You're good and your mercy is endured forevermore. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your help in every area of our lives. Thank you, Father, for giving us victory in Christ Jesus. All things are indeed working together for our good because we love you. Thank you for your word we're about to receive this morning with gladness of heart. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. And today's topic is not redeem or delivered. Praise the Lord. And 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's 2 Corinthians 5.17. When we say the new creature isn't the redeemed or wasn't delivered from sin or Satan, many don't understand it. When the Bible talks about redemption, like you find in Luke 1.68, we say Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. It is a reference to the Jews. The Jews were the ones that needed to be redeemed because they were under the curse of the law. So when Paul says Christ had redeemed us from curse of the law, Galatians 3 fed in, it is important not to be misled by his generic use of words. Paul was speaking as a Jew. The Gentiles were redeemed from the curse of the law because they were never under the law. That is why in Ephesians 4, 17 to 18, the Gentiles are described as being alienated from God and strangers to the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But times be unto God in Christ Jesus, both the Jews and the Gentiles have been brought together to make one new man. That is neither a Jew nor a Gentile. That is the new creation. Ephesians 2.14 This new creation is a brand new man that never existed before, as read in our team scripture. The new creature is a new species, and this is where you belong in Christ. So being born again, you were born into a newness of life. You have the life of Christ now. You don't have a past to be redeemed or delivered from. For your whole nature, the life you had before you were born again was supplanted by Christ's divine nature. Now you walk in newness of life. Romans 6, 4. Glory of God. Praise the Lord not redeemed or delivered praise the lord it is very important that we understand this praise the lord hallelujah what pastor is helping us to understand is that we have big bought. hallelujah we have the new nature of christ in us that's the life that christ gave to us when he died on the cross of calvary praise the lord and that is why i always say it i am free i am free in jesus name praise the lord so don't you're not a victim of this world you're not a victim to sin praise Praise the Lord, because Christ has delivered you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. I'm a new creation in Christ. Jesus with the life and nature of God. I have the resurrection life. I am not the redeemed. I am not the delivered. I am a brand new man and never existed before. Living the transcendent life of the Spirit. Blessed be God. For that study, you can look at Romans 6, verse 4, Ephesians 2, verse 4 to 6. One year Bible reading plan, you can look at Acts 20, verse 1 to 16, and Job 19, 21. Two year Bible reading plan, you can look at Galatians 2, verse 3 to 12, and Isaiah 29. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. Activate the life that Christ has given to you. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe you told my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe you died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess 
with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you pray this beautiful prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this, and look for a believing church and worship for growth. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel or your notification bell so anytime I upload a video such like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please, you can share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus name so before we go let's pray together father we thank you for your love we thank you father for making us a brand new hallelujah and we enjoy that life in Christ Jesus and father we thank you we thank you for blessing our day thank you for peace we command peace unto our day oh lord in the mighty name of Jesus father thank you for making every crooked way straight and thank you for making every of our mystic right oh lord in the mighty name of Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.